Hello guys, welcome back to the Simon Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Simon Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about that why the segregation occur in the concrete. This is a very important topic to know the segregation in concrete. Concrete, concrete is usually the composition of different components like the water, the cement, the fine aggregate and the coarse aggregate. So all this combined to form the concrete mix. But the segregation is a phenomenon in concrete which occur due to the bed mixing of the, these components in the concrete. So we should be careful while designing the concrete mix. The segregation in concrete, I will explain this by some example. Let's consider that this is our beam and we try to, and we want to put, pour the concrete from above. Let's consider this is the machine from where the concrete comes into the, this beam. So when we pour the concrete here, it's coming concrete here, and we pour the concrete in this beam or maybe in any structure member but in this case I am supposing this is a beam and we pour the concrete from above and it comes into the beam so due to the falling the concrete from above the concrete separates the concrete uh, components like the coarse aggregate, fine aggregate and the water moves, uh, moves separate from one another and the coarse aggregate falls before then the fine aggregate and the cement or water so we call this phenomenon is known as segregation in concrete. Segregation means the separation of the concrete components from one another. Separation. Because the coarse aggregate have a higher weight and it moves first to the concrete, uh, to the beam, while the other component is coming down after the uh, coarse aggregate. So this phenomenon is known as segregation and there are some factors that why the segregation occur in the concrete. So I'm going to explain one by one. The first one is the bed water cement ratio. Why the segregation occur in concrete? Due to the bed water cement ratio. And this is the main cause of the con segregation in concrete. If we have bed water cement ratio, we should have choose a good water cement ratio to uh, avoid the segregation in concrete. So we should be careful about the water cement ratio while designing the concrete mix. The second one is the concrete is not properly mixed. While when mixing the concrete, we don't allow the sufficient time for the concrete to mix. That's why we find the segregation in concrete. If you have proper concrete mix, so there will be less chances of segregation in concrete. The third important factor is the concrete pouring from a height which is more than the 1.5 meter or 5 foot. This is the standard recommendation from the different codes that if I'm pouring the concrete into the member, so our height should must be 1.5 meter or 5 foot but it should not be greater than the 1.5 meter or 5 foot. It should always be less than that so to avoid the segregation in concrete. The fourth factor is vibrating the concrete mix for longer time. We should not vibrate the concrete uh, for long time because it, it makes the water to come up and it makes the segregation in the concrete. So we should avoid the vibrating concrete mix for longer time. It's not good to, con to mix the concrete for longer time so that it makes some water coming up from the concrete and makes not a good mix of the concrete. The fourth one is the not a good design mix. We should always be designing the mix with a good water cement tissue with a good percentage of the fine aggregate and the coarse aggregate. So, and also sometimes using the admixtures to have a good workability and strength. So, if you have not a good design mix, then we have segregation in the concrete. So it's very important to have a good design mix from a designer so that to avoid the segregation in concrete. And designers should must know about the segregation phenomena that's occurring in the, on the site. Hope you guys understand that what are the factors affecting the segregation in the concrete. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.